Hi, it's great to be here at In Cosmetics in Barcelona. I'm Neil Burns, CEO of P2 Science. I'm here with my colleague Patrick. Great to be here. I'm Patrick. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at P2, and uh, this is our second In Cos as presenters, and we're so excited to be here. So at P2, we are a company that's founded on green chemistry. We are dedicated to bringing to life the promise of green chemistry um, through the development of new materials that push the boundaries of performance in a variety of applications, including cosmetics and personal care. And we're able to achieve uh, these new levels of performance because what we do is new chemistry. We were founded at the Center for Green Chemistry and Green Engineering at Yale in 2009, and we've been at it ever since, developing, again, new chemistry, new materials, and um, so far, we've been pretty successful, and we've gone through R&D, piloting, and we have two manufacturing facilities in Connecticut as we speak. I have to add, Patrick is one of the two founders of yep. the company, yep. along with Professor Paul Anastas of yeah. Yale, and these guys are both superstars yeah, right. in the world of green chemistry. Certainly Paul, yeah. Both rock stars <laughs> of green chemistry. Paul published a book in the late 90s called The 12 Principles of Green Chemistry. Patrick was his first student and some say protege uh, in this field. And, and so the, the company has incredibly yeah. deep roots in sustainability. And, and that's really propelled us into the mainstream here in the cosmetics business. What sets us apart from other companies and other classes of compound is first and foremost, performance. We bring superior product performance to a range of applications in hair care, skin care, color cosmetics, and we're able to do that because our technology is brand new, unique, and patented, and really tailored for this cosmetics industry. So in addition to sustainability, it's really what the customers get in terms of their product performance for their consumers that really sets us apart. So what's unique about our approach and what makes our chemistry really special is that we do something that we think that um, not a lot of people do, maybe nobody else does, and that's unique to our approach, which is that we use new chemistry to make new materials. It's so often the case over the past several decades that new materials come onto the market using traditional chemistry. And there's only so far that you can get using traditional chemistry to make new materials. You really have to reinvent the chemistry itself by looking to the feedstocks, looking to the chemistry that's taking place in the reaction during production, so that you can access new materials that have higher levels of performance, so that you can access that next generation level of performance that people are seeking, and that is really important for all of us as an industry to succeed into the future. I think I'll add that you don't have to compromise yeah. when you get sustainability. We bring sustainability to the table, plus, additional performance. There's no compromise between yeah. the two, and I think that's what's been very attractive for our customers as they work with our materials. So I think the key elements of performance that we're bringing to our customers depends on the application, but for example, in hair care, we're bringing things like gloss and shine and smoothness and anti-frizz. Skin care, you've got moisturization. In color cosmetics, you've got what's known as color payoff, the intensity of the color of the lipstick when it's applied to the lips. All these things are super important in terms of consumer perception and consumer satisfaction. That's what our customers are going for and that's what we bring with our ingredients. In terms of the technology in our pipeline moving forward, P2 has developed uh, two platform technologies that we've de deployed at our first of kind manufacturing facility in the United States. And th these platforms are going to continue to generate new innovations and new ingredients that we can bring to the market in cosmetics and personal care that had added benefits uh, over and above what we're already um, offering with our Citrapol series. In addition to these two platforms, we have an R&D department that's working uh, hard on developing new platforms in addition to the two we've deployed already so that we can continue to use our approach of looking to green chemistry, natural renewable raw materials, and new chemistry so that we can access new levels of performance, the type of performance that we need and that our customers need and the consumers expect into the future. I want to add also, if I may, 
Someone told me this morning, they said, Neil, P2 is going to be the next BASF. <laughs> I said, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Where are the next BASF plus Dow, plus Evonik, <laughs> plus Coda, all rolled into one? That's what's coming next. <laughs>